Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today on this Tuesday morning? No, really, your video hasn't paused or buffered or uh, gone out. I'm gonna wait and let you think about it. How are you actually doing today? Think of a word, think of a, a state of soul that you have right now and try to name it. Uh, how are you feeling during this whole season, during this particular day, during whatever is happening in your life right now? And, uh, and name that this morning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of show you two different options of ways that you may be feeling that we often refer to. Maybe you're feeling this way. You guys see it? Maybe you're feeling uh, glass half empty today. Um, maybe you're feeling a little pessimistic or uh, unsure or fearful or um, negative or uh, is this ever gonna end? Uh, my life is completely upside down. Um, my kids are driving me crazy. I, I'm all alone, I'm isolated. Um, I, I, I can't get my needs met today. Uh, maybe that's how you're feeling today. Or here's another option. Maybe you're feeling this way. Glass half full. Maybe you're feeling like uh, maybe today's gonna be a great day. Uh, the sun's out again today, it's not raining. Um, I just went to the grocery store yesterday. Things are feeling pretty good. I had a good quiet time this morning in my Bible reading. Um, God seems to be close to me today. Uh, I'm feeling like things are on the up and up. Um, I'm confident in, in, what's, in what's facing me today. But what I want you to notice about this today is that both of these glasses look exactly the same. It's just a perspective, right? Glass half empty, glass half full. Uh, really, they're the same. And so uh, oftentimes our perspective is what overrides our actual real emotion of what's happening during a given day. So today's encouragement is, is one of my favorite verses in the whole Bible. Uh, and I encourage you to think of more, but it's John 10:10. 10, 10. Jesus said, I came that you may have life and have it to the full, have it abundance, have it overflowing, so to speak. This life that is full, that is to the brim, that cannot uh, be emptied by anything else. Having a glass full kind of life, that's what Jesus comes to offer each of us in our life. And here's my challenge and my, my conviction, and this is what I really think God is doing in this season, because he does this in every season. Uh, and he, we see this throughout the scriptures and throughout the lives of uh, people that have come before us, is that when things seem the darkest, things seem the bleakest, same th when things seem the most confusing, God actually is giving us an opportunity to draw into deeper communion and intimacy with himself, into deeper relationship, and actually, an abundant life can actually come when things seem the least abundant, when things seem the most barren, when things seem the most dry, when things seem the most hopeless, when you feel the most lonely, that's actually when God seems most uh, visibly evident and present with his people. And actually, he's actually calling us into deeper abundance, into deeper life in this season. So that's our encouragement to for today, is to live a life full. But we're not going to just finish there, because uh, we're going to live out this abundant life today together. So today's a Tuesday, kind of a random middle of the week day. Um, but today's going to be an abundant day. And so actually later on today, we're going to get another encouragement, a second encouragement, a PM edition um, from another person in our church who you all know well, Perrin Prescott who's maybe traveled the world more than anybody in our entire church. But he's gonna give us another encouragement later today. A bonus, an abundant encouragement, an overflowing encouragement for us later today. Uh, but I'm gonna give you one more bonus uh, content here today. And it's from Psalm 23. Psalm 23 is, you, you, many of you know it, the Lord is my shepherd. Uh, but in verse five is a, a sneaky verse there. It says, uh, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. My cup overflows. I'm going to give you four bonus content points from Psalm 23, 5 this morning. First thing, to receive a life that is overflowing with abundance and joy and purpose 
and uh, God's presence has to be given to you from the outside. You can't just acquire it yourself. You can't work your way up towards it. God has to be the one that's pouring it into your empty or glass half empty or glass half full kind of life. He's the one that has to be pouring it into your life. And, and not just that, so God is the source of all, all purpose and comfort and peace and joy, but not just, it's not just a one-time pour either. This is actually a continual, sorry, I turned my head away. This is a continual all the time kind of pour. It's a glass overflowing type of life that goes on and on and on and on. I'm not sure if you could hear a word I just said, but the life that God is offering us is a continual outpouring of God's faithfulness and goodness to us all the time. And it's a continual flow every day. His, his mercies are new every single morning. So it's given by another. It's a continual flow, not just a one-time pouring. Third, it's not driven by outside circumstances. Jesus says, and Jesus really is picking up on David in Psalm 23, when he says, you, you prepare a table in the, play, in, in the midst of my enemies, before my enemies. We're facing an enemy right now. The enemy of fear, the enemy of isolation, the enemy of loneliness, and the virus, uh, coronavirus is what has brought a lot of that about. But the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus said, I came that you may have life and have it to the full. So this abundant life is not driven by outside circumstances. Often it comes right in the middle of challenging circumstances. And lastly, uh, the fourth point, the last point from Psalm 23, 5. Why do we receive a life of overflowing abundance from Jesus continually and that's not driven by outside circumstances? Ultimately, it's not just to keep for ourselves, but it's to flow out and over us, out and through us. Uh, to the outside world, to love those around us. Jesus says uh, to those that, that trust in him, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. And that is the joy for us today, is that this overflowing cup that we have, this full cup, this abundant, overflowing life, is meant to be poured out in love to others, to those who need it the most. And during times like this, what an opportunity we have to be an encouragement and a giver of life to others, of the life without price, the free life, the free water that Jesus is offering to each of us. So let that be our encouragement for you today. God bless you today, and look out for our evening encouragement from Perrin later today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.